Students, today we are going to learn about Microsoft Access, the most popular database software. Information is an important factor to manage our routine activities and so is its maintenance and management to plan well for the future. From a child to an old man, a professional to a homemaker, everyone needs information. However, data in its raw and unprocessed form is meaningless, but when such data is converted into information, it can be easily interpreted. Hence, it is essential to provide a structure to the available data in a computer system and organize it, which can be achieved with the help of a database. A database is an organized collection of data. It helps us to enter, manage, access and analyze a large amount of information quickly and efficiently. Students, let's first discuss on database and DBMS. Let us understand this through an example. Unknowingly, we all use database in our daily life. We maintain our personal address diaries wherein we record addresses and telephone numbers of our friends. We maintain the information alphabetically so that whenever any information is needed, we could browse and extract the information quickly. From time to time, we keep on adding new addresses and also update the contact numbers and postal addresses of our friends if there is any change. All these operations that we perform like adding, updating, sorting, editing, deleting, etc. are the functions of a database. Telephone Directory A dictionary maintaining a list of students and their addresses, keeping their records pertaining to academic and co-curricular achievements. List of groceries in a grocery store, catalog in a library, list of customers in a bank, maintaining employees, information in offices and organizations, etc. are the examples of different types of database. Students, let us take a quick quiz. Give any real-life example of database apart from the one given in the chapter. It is very difficult to maintain a database manually when there are hundreds and thousands of records as the chances of committing errors increase. The data management system DBMS is a computerized record keeping system that enables you to create, modify, store and extract information from a database. It saves our time and energy. The main function of a DBMS is to provide the users with efficient and reliable methods of data retrieval. Moreover, it reduces the chances of errors creeping into database to a great extent. Therefore, data handling using DBMS becomes fast and efficient. Students, let's know more. Microsoft SQL Server is an example of DBMS that serves database requests from multiple users. Types of Database There are mainly two types of database. Flat File Database A flat file database refers to the data files that contain records which have a small, fixed number of fields without any structured relationship. For example, Microsoft Excel Relational Database a relational database stores the data in several tables and link those tables together to get a common piece of information. For example, Microsoft Access, Microsoft SQL, Oracle. Students, let us understand the structure of a database. A database contains a specific structure to store data. Let us study some basic terminologies used in a database that will help us in getting acquainted with the functioning of a DBMS. Number 1. Tables Tables are the building blocks of a database. They store the complete data in a structured manner, that is, in the form of rows and columns. Every table has a finite number of columns and rows. Elements of a table Fields all the columns in a table are called fields. A field describes a particular attribute of all the records in a table. For example, the field that mentions the roll number of the table, students, will store the roll numbers of all the students. Records The rows in a table are called records. 
A record contains the values for all the fields that belong to a single person or an entity. For example, when we enter data of all the fields such as roll number, full name and marks for a given student, it creates a new row in a table which is called a record. Data A set of characters that represents a valid value is known as data. For example, 3, Dipti, 90, 88 and 70 are the data values for the specific fields of the following table students. Queries A database stores a vast amount of data but queries help us to retrieve the filtered data based upon some conditions. Queries are also used to perform actions such as delete, update, etc. on the data based upon some criteria conditions. Forms Forms are the user-friendly interfaces that facilitate the process of entering data in tables and queries. A form has an attractive interface that accepts data from the user and forwards it to the corresponding table or query. Reports Reports are used to display the selected data in a printable format. They collect the summarized data from one or more tables, queries and organize it in a printable form. Students, let us talk about advantages of DBMS. Some of the key advantages of DBMS are as follows. A DBMS provides the users with efficient and reliable methods of data retrieval. It facilitates reduction of data redundancy, duplication of data and elimination of multiple copies of the same data at different locations. It increases the efficiency, speed and flexibility in searching and accessing information, thus saving time and energy. DBMS facilitates sharing of data among different users based on the individual needs. In a DBMS, the data administration has a complete control over the database. It ensures that data is accessed only by the authorized users. A DBMS also supports the data integrity as it ensures that the stored data follows the customized standards of an organization. Suppose the maximum marks of an examination are set to 100. You can have rules to make sure that the database accepts the numbers only between the range of 0 to 100. Microsoft Access Microsoft Access is the most popular and powerful relational database management system, RDBMS, that serves as an integral part of the Microsoft Office suite application. It has a graphical user interface. It is used to organize and manipulate a large volume of data efficiently. It organizes data in the form of tables. It provides the facility to create a relationship between these tables by using the common fields. A relational database enables to prevent duplication of data. Another important feature of Access is that you can add, update, delete and view the data by using forms, find and retrieve the data in a desired way by using queries and print the data in a specific layout by using reports. Some other popular RDBMS are Sybase, Oracle and Structured Query Language, MySQL. Let us understand the concept of relationship with the help of an example. To maintain the student's database in RDBMS, instead of entering all the records in a single table, you will split the fields into two tables having a common column, such as roll number. Students Information Table The students information table consists of information about students as displayed in the below given table. To enter the details of students, percentages and grades, you do not have to include all the fields in a separate table, which have already been included in the students information table. You will take only a common field in the second table. By making a link on this common field, you can retrieve the desired set of records from both the tables. Marks table Notice that the values of the roll number field in the marks table are the same as the values in the student's information table. You can define a relationship between both the tables using a common field that is roll number. Thus, by splitting information in separate tables, RDBMS reduces the duplication of data. 
Students, let us talk about components of a Microsoft Excel 2016. Before learning about the various functions of Microsoft Access, let us get familiar with the various components of Microsoft Access window. Title bar. It is located at the top of the window and displays the name of the current database. Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar is present at the top left corner of the Access window. It contains the most frequently used command buttons. By default, it has three buttons which are Save, Undo and Redo. Ribbon. It contains various tabs, each with several groups of relevant commands. Some tabs appear when you work with certain objects like forms. Such tabs are called contextual tabs. Tell me what you want to do. It is a new feature which can be used to get quick help on topics that you are looking for or the commands that you want to use in your document. Navigation pane. This pane is present on the left side of the access window. It displays the name of the objects used in the database such as table, queries, forms, reports, etc. Navigation buttons. As the name suggests, it helps in navigating through the records. The navigation buttons display the current record number in an object. Object tabs. The objects that you have opened in a database appear right above the work area in a tab form. Clicking on any tab displays the contents in the work area. To close the current tab, click on the cross button on the right end of the bar. Status bar. This bar is located at the bottom of the window. On its extreme left, it displays the name of the current view and on its right, it displays four view buttons which are data sheet view, design view, pivot table view and pivot chart view. Students note that in Access 2013, no background color is given on the top menu as we get in Access 2016. This color helps the top menu stand out more clearly.